Hello friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. Today I am putting together a bunch of Middle Eastern appetizers together for a big family barbecue and I'm gonna show you how I make some of my appetizers and if you are interested to learn, please keep watching. When it comes to putting these big family barbecues together, I like to do a lot of the things the day before. So I get a lot of what I need from the market the day before, I start prepping the day before. The only thing that I don't do is get like the fresh meat, the fresh bread, I leave that for the day of. So the first appetizer that I'm doing is a spinach and yogurt appetizer. This one is very easy. So I toss about 10 handfuls of spinach into some boiling water and I let it steam. When the spinach starts to look like this, I drain it and I squeeze out all the water and let it cool. Once it is cooled down, I transfer it to a big bowl and I put my spinach and two pounds of yogurt and about a teaspoon of salt and I mix these all in together. And that is literally the entire recipe. Now since this is the day before, when I'm done mixing, I put this in a Tupperware and I stick it into my refrigerator because it is best served cold. Now the first appetizer is in the fridge and ready. So we make a little trip to my front yard where I have a huge beautiful pomegranate tree. I'm so happy with my pomegranates this year. They look so big and amazing. So I choose one of these pomegranates for my next appetizer. Now I tried doing a cool little edit with my pomegranate so that you guys could see that I cleaned the pomegranates but I don't know if it was too successful. So that is cleaned and now I have two beets in front of me which I'm going to clean and then I'm going to put it in some boiling water for about one hour so that it cooks. When the beets were ready, I took them out and I chopped them into little squares. And then I put it in a plate together with the pomegranates. And I then begin to crush about half a cup of walnuts because that is what is going into this salad. But that is for tomorrow. I just got these ready and I left them in my fridge. So now after this clip, we are starting the next day when I begin to put all of these appetizers together. I get my beet and my pomegranates, 
I toss in my walnuts and then I'm going to be putting some fat free yogurt, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. I then plate these, put a little design on top of them and begin my next appetizer. Up next we have everybody's favorite appetizer which is a three cheese burek and it has sharp cheddar, Bulgarian feta and picnic cheese plus one egg and about one tablespoon of Aleppo pepper. If you don't have Aleppo pepper you could put cayenne pepper. To assemble the barrack in front of me I have my cheese mixture, a small cup of water, Chinese wontons, I like these because they are super thin, just a tray and then another little plate which I could stick my ready ones in the fridge so that it doesn't get um, hot or anything since it was pretty hot outside and it is a cheese and egg mixture so I did have that on the side to put it in the fridge, the ones that were complete while I work on the others. And then I begin assembling. I put a good amount of the cheese mixture on the wonton and then with my finger I put a little bit water on the side so that it sticks together. I squeeze them together with my fingers and then I just make sure that there is not any openings so that when I do fry these, the cheese does not pour out. So once they were all complete and it was time to fry, I have the bread eggs in front of me. I have a pan with a little bit of vegetable oil and I just fry them until they get a little bit golden brown, reddish on one side. I turn them over and then I put it on the plate with the paper towel on it so that the paper towel soaks up the oil a little bit. And then those are done. We move along to putting a bunch of other appetizers together which I don't give the exact ingredients for in this video but I will for sure in the next couple of videos so if you really like this one you could subscribe to my channel and see the further um, videos that are coming and you can learn how to do these appetizers as well. Here we were just putting in a hummus plate together, designing the plate. Um, we do do chikefte as well, which is some raw meat 
Um, I know that sounds weird to a lot of you, but trust me, it's really good. You could find it at some Lebanese or some Armenian um, markets if you have any around you. I will also be giving that recipe soon for our chikefte. Um, in the next clip, you'll see what it looks like. So here's the chikefte. We're just um, fixing about two plates of these for appetizers as well. I also wanted to show you guys what is going on outside. We have a lot of veggies cooking for a really good appetizer. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting this recipe out soon because it was a hit. Basically we let these cook on the grill and then we saute them inside with onions. Um, I believe we put some turmeric, curry, salt and black pepper. You'll see a little clip of that as well. Also, I did forget to mention before we take them inside to saute them all together, we clean them completely um, outside and then just take it in so that it's much cleaner that way. And then here you'll see that my dad is getting all the meats ready. So we had chicken kebab, we had um, ground beef kebabs, um, which they are called rema. And then we had some beef and some pork too, which I don't know if I show in the video, but we had a lot of meat to go along with these appetizers. Here is everything put together, all the appetizers were done. We now take these outside and we enjoy our Sunday dinner with our family. Now if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel guys because I have a lot more videos coming and I would really love for you guys to subscribe to me. Thank you so much for watching.